So there's a fairly big meetup that's happening this morning. And even if you're seeing this video tomorrow or the next day, you still have time to use this energy because the lingering effects are gonna hit us through probably Friday or Saturday, just saying. And that is a meetup between Mars, the planet that represents our anger, our passions, our drives, think Aries energy from mythology, and Jupiter, the planet that just likes to expand everything. My name is Sarah, I'm SRB Stars and all the things. If you'd like to learn how to work with me, pause to read. Lots of stuff in there, just saying. So Mars is in Gemini and Jupiter is in Gemini. And this meetup is happening at 16 degrees of Gemini. So you can go look in your chart to see where 16 degrees of Gemini falls by house. For me, that's in my second house. So I know in my head that part of this new beginning, because anytime two, a personal planet and an outer planet meet up, it's a new cycle that's starting and this will last at least two years because it takes two years for Mars to go all the way around the zodiac and meet up with Jupiter again. So today is a new beginning and you might be feeling inspired, like you have all these new thoughts because Gemini is a curious sign and it's all about thinking and communicating. For me, the extra nuance is the house that it's in. For me, it's in my second house. And in my Patreon, I went through what topics it could be in there. So if you're interested in that, check that out. Um, but second house in general is about safety and security and my personal finances. So having ideas on how to make that happen, I've been thinking about it, just saying. So each sign is ruled by a planet as well. In Gemini, the sign is ruled by Mercury, which we know from, is still in Virgo, moving backwards and later tonight we'll be in Leo. So as we're having these thoughts, we can use the grounding energy that Mercury going backwards in Virgo gives us. And then if you need more inspiration when he moves into Leo, you might get it then too. Because Mars is so strong in the sky, if you're out on the road today, pretend like you're a brand new driver and nobody's paying attention to you because chances are nobody is. Anger might be hard because everybody might want to do it their way because their way is the best way. How can you compromise? How can you work together? With a Sagittarius moon, there's also an element of I want to be right as well. So how can you tap into the bigger picture that that Sagittarius moon that this is all happening under gives us as well? So like I said, it's a lot of energy to consider. So if you get stressed, move your body, drink your water, do all the things to stay calm. Because when you have a hot head, it is really hard to make any decisions. Truth. Let me know if this helps.